a polar vortex sweeping through Quebec, freezing noses, fingers and toes. Staying outdoors can be a death sentence. Environment Canada says frostbite can develop within minutes on exposed skin, especially with the wind chill. And of course, there's always the risk of hypothermia and freezing related deaths when the weather gets this cold. Much of central and eastern Canada is in the grips of a polar vortex right now, which is bringing with a bitter cold and dangerous wind chills. Wind is a killer. Uh, with the wind chill, uh, people were feeling temperatures of about minus 43 this morning. So that is a historic cold, we're told. The top story is this weather bomb that's going to hit Ontario, Quebec, and Atlantic Canada. This storm is rapidly intensifying. A central pressure drop of 24 millibars in a 24-hour period means it gets really strong really fast. It's unusual to see one in the continental U.S., but it's happening, and it's going to have a major impact on Ontario, Quebec, and Atlantic Canada. In my life, I've had a lot of very good ideas, a lot of bad ones, but today is definitely one of the worst I've ever had. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. What an adventure is about to start. Minus 42 degrees Celsius. What if we ride our bicycle outside? But well, something I could not really see myself do alone. And that's where I thought about who's the top guy who do crazy shit. And that's when I hit up Henry. Hey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Henry, I'm an ultra cyclist. Charles asked me a few days ago if I wanted to bike on Saturday, and then he sent me a picture of the weather. All right, why not? YOLO. It is extreme, the weather is going to be extreme, but I mean, this is something to control, right? I mean, it's just weather. I mean, it's... So right away, within minutes, Henry replied to my DMs and say he was in, but he told me about what happened in the last couple of months and he says his fitness is not there. Uh, I, I sort of felt that maybe our, our level of cycling would have been a bit too different in terms of, I've been very, very steady on my training in the last couple of months and Henry was completely off the bike. So that's when I realized, what if we do this challenge unattended? I kind of threw it as a joke and Henry kind of took the bait and he was in right away. And I thought it was the perfect opportunity because Henry definitely has the mental strength, something I might not have. And I might have a bit more of the fitness at the moment. First of all, I've never ridden a tandem and I wanted to ride one, so I thought, why not ride a tandem during winter? It'll be a first, it'll be a first big impression. And yeah, we might snag a few KOMs at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> On the tandem, it just unites our forces together and hopefully we can help each other finish this challenge. Henry brought us some big beefy tires, 42 mils with stud. Um, so this will be very useful for the biker riding today. Do you think we're gonna reach the level of what the fuck that you uh, you always strive to during your rides? I think so. I think people will say what the fuck, but I think it's kind of become like a running gag and joke now because it used to be that when I was lost down, people would always say what the fuck because they would always think it's impossible that we're doing this and there's no way or this guy's crazy. But the more people get to know me and the more they get to know the things that I do, People always say yes now, even though it's really impossible sometimes. I'm an ultra cyclist, but I prefer to refer to myself as the guy that comes up with dumb ideas. <laughs> we have a extreme cold warning, which means wind chills for Greater Montreal minus 42, up north as much as minus 58. And that is where skin can freeze in as little as three minutes and you can get hypothermia very quickly. All right, so <clears throat> as predicted, it's minus 42. I'm not looking forward to it. I woke up a bit earlier. How about you, Andrew? How was your sleep? It was good. Good? Sleep was really good. 
Starts pretty easy, Sam. Um, basically, we head back to the main boulevard and then to Marie Victorin. So that's like a, the first hour is that first big straight line. And we have a tailwind, so we might fly in that section. So it is it is so cold that we can't put our GPS with the map on, but we know it's not gonna last. Pretty much any electronics is gonna die like, exposed. Yeah. <laughs> Within seconds. <laughs> Eating socks. That's. It's a lifesaver for me. I'm gonna, this is something new. I'm gonna use this Gore-Tex sock and I'm gonna put it in between the bib and the boxers just to protect that little guy right here. <laughs> Can you tell us what's your strategy when it comes to layering up? It's always different every time. Uh, yeah. I'm always still experimenting, but today I'm going to be using this uh, balaclava. It has a, a hard uh, shield in front for the nose, which is essential because you don't want to have any uh, exposed skin at all, especially in minus 42. Any bits of exposed skin is uh, subject to really quick uh, frostbite. Kind of regretting the idea, but very excited at the same time right now. It's going to be quite an accomplishment if we finish, if we make it. It's still not a, a sure thing. Ari, you ready? Excited? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it is at this moment that all the stress was building up, getting out of the garage, getting ready for the ride. Yeah. There you go. The other place I just go is the knees. I'm Sam, I'm a good friend of Charles. I helped him in the past uh, for a couple of videos and now he asked me to drive uh, for the, this project. I'm super stoked that I'm in the car, not outside, like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knows he can rely on me, he, like uh, he has confidence. I can follow him and not be too, too dangerous with the car. Every um, project I'm doing with Charles, it's always like nice ideas and uh, it's always fun. <laughs> So we have one climb of this whole thing and by chance we only have a one by system but the chain dropped to the small ring just for the climb. I, I cannot eat on the bike. It's good that we have this little first break. Oh my 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 ass is hurting though. I'm not used to this uh, southern position. Not out too exact, we have bars that don't freeze. For me, the only place cold is the knees. I'm yeah. good everywhere, but the knees are frozen. The hell is good, but the hot one afterwards for sure is gonna be hell. <laughs> Everyone's looking at us. We're we're making head turns, that for sure. Yeah, Almost one third of the way, we have our first pit stop in five kilometers. And we have his toes a bit freezing, right? Yeah, for peace. <laughs> I think the worst is done. Yeah, the chain's good, but maybe the headwind's gonna suck. Stay warm. Time to get some. Some food, some something to drink. I haven't drank yet. He yeah, hasn't experienced a headwind yet during winter, <laughs> which yeah. is coming up very soon. So, and I can't share anymore. My glasses are all fogged up. For some reason, one of my eating socks don't work anymore. Battery was supposed to be full, but that's what happened in these extreme conditions. Is 
electronics, you can't really rely on them. So that's why we have hot shots as well. So for me, there's two things I believe that can go wrong. Definitely the bike itself, like the mechanical is so quickly to happen that the derailleur can froze, the brake can stop functioning, the handlebar can break because it's too cold. I don't know, something bad can and will probably happen. So hopefully we can fix it in time and we can finish the ride. It's definitely a lot slower than we expected. Tires are slow. We're about five, six, seven kilometers less as fast as we thought. Hopefully we're gonna be in time for the wedding of Henry. We thought we were going to be going 30 at this point, but man, we're going, we're doing 20. Here we go for another 66 kilometers. And as predicted, right after the gas station stop, something was wrong with the bike. So after further inspection, we realized it was the shifter that froze during our pit stop. So the only way that we could get going is to fix the bike to only one gear. This was hard enough with 11 speed. Now we're going down to one speed. Holy shit. I think we were going like 15 kilometers an hour. Max. We never thought that could happen though. Shit. The shifter is frozen. All right, so whew, the gearing was perfect for that tailwind section, but that will definitely be too heavy for the, the other section. So we're gonna be uh, adjusting the derailleur there, try to get an easier gear. As you said yesterday, something will go wrong. Something did go wrong. Good thing we have some hot shots. It definitely helped out in the boots. Good thing I got the Skidoo boots and not the SPD boots. Good thing. I, the beginning, I kind of regret it because I'm not clipped in, but man, 55K in. And now we're heading out for our lice, or the last 45 will be the hardest because it's mostly a cross headwind. So for the last few months, I've been a bit absent uh, overall, like um, absent social media, absent just in general. Haven't been riding, lost a lot of fitness, um, went through some tough times. And uh, I told myself, you know, you have to, I have to find a way to turn it around. Like, I, mean, I can't just keep on waiting and, and hoping that it'll get better. I mean, it did get better, but also my fitness and my motivation is gonna come, isn't gonna come back by itself. So I told myself I had to do something crazy to, to start doing things that I love again, which is just dumb, pretty things. I needed this to get back into doing the things that I love doing, you know, like just being out there, surpassing myself, doing crazy things and making people go, what the fuck? I don't see myself quitting, but if I have to, I mean, I, I don't want to, I, I want to finish it. I don't want to disappoint Enria. I don't want to disappoint the crew, but there's life threatening injuries here. Like we can lose a finger. We can lose toes if we're not careful, if we don't listen to our body. If we do have too strong of a headwind, we, we will use my car uh, as a windshield, whatever, to finish this challenge. I'm just chilling behind Charles, like literally chilling behind Charles. I'm, uh, I'm you, pushing. You guys not swapping uh, yet? It's the handling of the bike that yeah. like, you're not used to and it, it's... Uh, yeah, we're pretty good so far. Yeah, I think it, I'm fine up front. If you're fine yeah. in the back... Let's keep it like that. An armor and <laughs> uh, the problem with the tandem is with uh, the bigger tires, um, it's very difficult to control. Like the bike keep going left and right, so it kind of have to be hands on, holding very strong all the time. Uh, you cannot take a hand off. You cannot chill. You have to stay focused. So, and since Henry is not really used to it, we're gonna stick like that. And if I'm getting too cold, then we're gonna switch. But my thing is frozen on my. <laughs> What the fuck? Feeling good, Henry? Yeah, much better actually. Oh yeah? Body's used to it now, so. At first I thought I was gonna tell him, but now it's still the sun's out. 
Charles is blocking the wood. <laughs> We're gonna need some titles here. <laughs> yeah, it's all muffled, right? <laughs> all right, well, the spirit is good, man. But I definitely start to feel that head wind. It's, I, I, I feel the wind going through yeah. all the face and it starts to get very cold on the chin. So I'm gonna have to be watching that. But hey, it's, uh, it's no longer minus 42, it's minus 41. <laughs> we gained one degree, let's go. <laughs> Our Supra vehicle is equipped with Nokian Akipelita tires. These are just the best winter tires ever. Thanks, Nokian. Dude, I'm starting to have frostbite on the on the face. It hurts, man. Is it bad? Push pay? Okay. Oh, it's like sludge right now. Mmm. Mmm. I need carbs. With 60 grams of carbs, two gels back to back. I cannot you know, eat on the bike, so I need to fuel when we stop. We're about to get onto the hardest sector but as soon as we're gonna make that right turn be full on headwind and it's going to hurt mm. have two hours left <laughs> to be on top three hours three hours, three hours left no Ooh, it's cold hey i'm driving with this huh and it's still cold i'm starting to freeze from the face so i'm gonna put a warmer inside of here <laughs> Henry is currently freezing his wiener! As soon as we left that small city, we were full on into the crosswind and let me tell you, it was so strong, the tandem was difficult to drive. No one! No one has to we were grinding our way, but the only way that we were able to have the right tenants was being beside the car. Oh my god, that feels good! Wow! No shame! Absolutely no shame right now! You're watching this on the comfort of your home! And we're struggling here! Woo! Now we have to switch position. My lower back hurt too much. It's tough now. And me feeling fresh, so he's gonna take the front. <laughs> After this headwind section, grinding the only gear we had, my back was hurting so much that I had to switch position with Henry. It's frozen, the bearings are frozen. There's so much friction right now. That's why it's difficult. It's Oh, look at that resistance! Oh my god. Alright, Tony. After several attempts of handling the tandem, unfortunately, Henry was not able to, so we had to stop and switch again position. Yep. Oh, it's like c'est pire. Oh, tabarnak. Oh, you want to cramp? You want to cramp so bad? That's from the grinding of that big gear. Was it a good idea to accept uh, Charles's offer? It's always a good idea. <laughs> it's always a terribly good idea. <laughs> We're going slow because the bike doesn't work. 
basically the running with brakes on. And then on the side of the road, to my surprise, the love of my life, Gabrielle, was there. Coming, you're so warm. Oh, you're the best. Okay. Do you want me to go get lunch? I would love you to go get lunch. Okay. And I would love to get Busta. This is going to be the best end ever. We're gonna get home, we're gonna warm up, and we're gonna eat Busta. What else we can ask for, huh, Ali? There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Harry! Good job, oh, man! Bro! We pretty much did more than half on a fixed gear. Fixed gear are cool, right? Yeah. Then a tandem fixed gear is even cooler. Yeah. Dude, how many watts are we losing right here? Resistant from the wind, resistant from the crank, resistant from the cold, uh, resistant from us being not aero. 21k an hour average. Or minus 42 degrees. Uh. So Henry, in a, on a scale of uh, 1 to 10, for your scale of 1 to 10 and a regular cyclist scale of 1 to 10 difficulty, Honestly, where would you rate this ever? a regular cyclist, the hardest part is just driving. Like the higher being tougher, crazier, probably a good six seven. Dude, six seven for Henry. For Henry. Six seven, like more than fifty percent. No. Fuck six seven for Henry. I mean, only because we're on a tandem. Like fuck tandem. I don't know how you did it to handle the front. Like I, I was up there for ten seconds and. <laughs> for me, that was a, that was a nine point five effort out of ten. Oh yeah. I sure. think I think that's. That's definitely harder than the rift in Iceland gravel race. That's close to as hard as the manual key climb that I've done for Ocean to Heaven film. It's up there. It's definitely up there for me. Are you uh, are you down to do something uh, like that uh, this summer? The oh, tandem yeah. again? For sure, definitely. All right, I'll I'll hit I'll hit your line, Henry. I'll hit your line, and uh, we'll find out something uh, to tell people uh, what the fuck, right? Yeah. To be honest, like. I know that me and Charles, we wanted to collaborate for a long time now, and I, I always thought that our first ride was going to be like one of my things, so like, like a big 24 hour ride. I never thought that our first ride was going to tandem in minus 42 degree weather. Yeah. All right, let's go eat. Oh, she got the boost on! Woo! Oh my God, this is a blessing, Gab. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bro. All this time, like the whole ride, I was looking at the cars and everyone like driving, turning around. They went, "What? What are you doing?" And I saw so much smiles and so much probably people. Was like, 